Hello everybody, it's Anne. I'm back behind my apron tonight and I'm popping on for a really fun special reason. It is Pampered Chef's 40th birthday today. So happy birthday to Pampered Chef. And I've been with the company 29 years, so I thought this deserved a, a fun night of uh, just a little history story and a little um, flashback. So 40 years ago today, Doris Christopher, our founder, scared to death, drove in a dark rainy night to a friend's house to host the very first Pampered Chef Kitchen Show. And guess what she made, you guys? She made exactly what we're gonna have tonight for dinner, a frozen pizza on a baking stone. Yep, I'm doing frozen pizza too, but I am gonna doctor it up and add some fresh mushrooms and some garlic and some Parmesan cheese to the top before we bake it. And this is my very loved stone that's oodles and oodles of years old. But you know, along with our 40th birthday celebration, it's also a new year for the business. So we also have our new stone fusion pieces. So this is now the current stone, my loved stone. Yes, this will still darken as you use them. We always say the uglier they look, the better they cook. But those of you that have been um, with me for years, get this. This new technology now for these stoneware pieces allow this to be preheated in the oven so you can get it super hot and slide that pizza right on to get an even crisper crust. And if you don't like the cleanup process, these can go in the dishwasher. So kind of crazy, huh? You'll know it's the new stone fusion because of the back. We put a different design on the back so people wouldn't get confused but we kept all the features that you love. So you can still cook, make your cookies, bake, um, reheat, whatever it is that you would love to do on your stoneware pieces. So I'm actually just starting to use my new stone fusion because it just came out. And so I'm going to put that in my preheated oven tonight, get it hot, and then I'm actually going to put my frozen pizza right on it, which is such a perk that we can do that now. So that's what's for dinner at the McMillan's. Big deal, huh, for the anniversary month? I know. But since it is our birthday, I decided to show you a quick fall um, beverage too. You know, I know you guys like the cocktail story. So this is called a fall fizz. And I have a Honeycrisp apple here. I'm just gonna take a, a fresh slice or two off of it. And you're going to actually just muddle the fresh apple slices in the bottom of the shaker. So you want to release that really crisp, tart flavoring of fresh apple juice. So just muddle that in the bottom for a little bit. Then you're going to add half of a lime that you have juiced. So I have a whole lime here. I'm going to just take half of it and put it through the citrus press. Remember, cut side down. Muddle that right into the shaker. And you know what? I do want to put some ice in the shaker. I forgot that. So I'm gonna add the ice that I had set aside. So I have that now in the shaker. The muddler, that's all part of the cocktail set. Then we're gonna add three things. We're gonna add um, an ounce and a half of vodka. So remember, you can read on the jigger, you can read the measure marks. So ounce and a half of vodka, ounce and a half of cranberry juice, and then three ounces of hard apple cider. shaker on, put the lid on your shaker, give it just a quick because you don't want, and I did it a little too hard, do it gently because of the foam of the hard cider, you don't want that to um, overflow everywhere. And then you don't want the apple in your drink, so strip, put your strainer on, which again is part of the set, and then you can just pour this into your cup. And you know, even though this is called fall fizz, this would be really pretty. Um, you could garnish it with cranberries um, when it gets there, since there's cranberry juice in here. You could put a, a apple wedge slice on top. 
Um, but cheers to Pampered Chef's 40th birthday. And I would love to know if you're having something more gourmet for dinner tonight besides frozen pizza, okay? Um, that would be fun. And if you have any questions about our anniversary celebration, uh, let me know. I should also make a baking announcement because I know there's lots of you that love this. Today, we also brought back seasonally, because we only do this seasonally, today we brought back our famous Karinji Cinnamon, the Cinnamon Plus, and the um, Madagascar Double Strength Vanilla. So if you need those for your baking, um, that's now available in the line too. So thanks everybody, have a great Thursday, and I'll toast you with my birthday pizza and birthday drink. See you soon.